what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. A Bite Podcast, man. Episode 93. Climbing that goddamn ladder to 100, man, real quick. We got a special guest in the building, man. He a uh, talent manager, CEO of uh, Digital Supreme Team, represent artists, actors, actresses, models. Got the homie Richie Slick, man. What's the deal, man? What's good, bro? Good to be here. Fresh Glad off the road, here. man. Fresh off the road. Oh, yeah, I forgot to uh, uh, put in there, dog. Nigga was a uh, former high school standout at uh, King High School and shit, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Play football at King, man. Graduate what, 2012? Know? Yeah, how you know that? You know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> you know, we do research around here, dog. Yeah, I played football for King. I graduated 12. Yeah. yeah, no, my little brother told me, dog. He just seen you too, uh, Mel, Malcolm Sterling. Oh, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, he about to come through and shit with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, hey, dog, what, what's up about him I could go ahead and throw him off with, dog? He's like, that nigga played football for King and shit. <laughs> that's how that nigga look like. Hold on, how you know that shit, blood? <laughs> yeah, right, for real. I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, man, everything been smooth though. Fresh from Atlanta and shit. Yeah, everything smooth, man. Just down there networking, you know, building my network and, you know, just pushing the brand forward. You feel for me? For sure, for sure. Got to, got to. My dog said he only been sleeping forty five minutes, man. Yeah, just hopped off the road, man. I don't never stop. Hell yeah, got to, man. I, I came back with some old gifts too for the for the artists and shit, man. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off. So December fourth. Okay. Um. If y'all check out my page, I got my mentor on there, Carlos. He the one who hooked me up. Shout out to Carlos Brown, my mentor. Okay. Real Network Promotions um, yeah. in Atlanta. Okay. Um, I was just down there with the Coalition G Day DJs. Um, oh yeah, they be doing that shit on what Wednesdays and shit. No, 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 they be that's doing the panel. Yeah, they be doing what what what, what day they do theirs. Don't the they be having like? Don't they be the like? Coalitions. That's the Detroit one. I don't, I, I haven't tapped in with okay, Detroit, okay, okay. but I'm about to because. I was down there with the founder of the mm. Coalition DJs, um, DJ okay. XL. Okay, okay. You feel me? So he the one who started the Coalition DJs or whatever, all the chapters or whatever. So shit, how you get plugged in with niggas from Atlanta and shit? <clears throat> My mentor Carlos Brown. Yeah, he from here? No, he from he from the A. I okay. just down there moving around and mm -hmm. ran into the right person. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And oh yeah, for sure. We tapped in, locked in, and he just decided to continue to help me. And he seen I can also add value. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm bringing him to Detroit December 4th for everybody. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, you know this nigga real mad. You got two phones and shit, dog. <laughs> you already right know a nigga about his business with two phones and shit, dog. He's about his business or he, you know, shit. <laughs> two phones, you already know what that is. <laughs> yeah, one for the plug, one for the love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, but we always start off everything, dog. Well, salute me while I'm here, man. But it can't be nobody in your immediate family circle, like mom, dad, kids, your lady, brother, sister, somebody outside of that. You, so you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you wait for niggas to die to be like, dog, he or she was dope. You know what I'm saying? So you got anybody, you got anybody in mind? Uh, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to just say everybody who started pushing the, the Detroit industry hard. Like, For sure. Like, you know, Joseph McFashion, yeah. um, Lando, mm -hmm. you know, um, Uncle Trick. Everybody who was like, I'm going to say some, really started pushing the D from like the dope yeah. boys, TV oh, yeah, yeah, side, yeah, you yeah, dig yeah. what I'm saying? You yeah. dig what I'm saying? So... Yeah, for sure. That's when it was tough to get a deal from Detroit, dog, back then, dog. That was 10 years ago, man. We done pressed so hard. Nigga. Look, look where we at now. They coming to the city hard, nigga, looking for uh, for artists, bro. Back then, you had niggas who should have got deals, I feel, like KDZ. You know what I'm saying? Stretch. Stretch Money was definitely, dog. His Eastside. song was a classic. Man, what? Hell yeah. Take money to make money. Dog, like back then, niggas, I don't know if they was more so scared or like, damn, we didn't have a, maybe we didn't have a sound. I don't know what the fuck it was that niggas from the city wasn't really getting big outside of the city. I don't really believe we was really networking outside of the city. It don't seem like it. And you know how Probably. it was in the industry. We was too real. Mm -hmm. We still are, but now we just created our own lane, basically. So you can't even help but deny us. And Trick had niggas scared to come to this motherfucker. Facts. <laughs> so niggas like, man, we about to <coughs> focus on Detroit niggas, dog. Facts. Some people didn't, ain't never been to the city ever since they been to the city. Duh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> you get companies trick. who get love like Snoop, you know what I'm saying, Jeezy and shit, niggas like that. Who come here and get love, man? But now nah, I think we we show more niggas love. I think I think niggas starting to tap in and and really starting to fuck with us and we fucking with them and shit, dog. So I guess it ain't changed up a little bit. But shit, man. Before we get right to everything, oh I ain't got no salute, man. It's 90, 93 episodes, dog. Like I ain't saluting niggas from fucking everybody. Dog. Ninety three episodes. Ninety three, yeah. So wait, so this the ninety third episode? Yep. After y'all was born. Oh yeah, shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was Hell, nine yeah. plus three. Yep, yep, yep. Oh shit, twelve. 12. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> It's over clock, nigga. Oh, we gotta play some lottery now, dog. <laughs> Graduate 2012. Mm hmm. You feel me? And if you start at 12 o'clock. You feel me? <laughs> some. <laughs> hey, my birthday 12 12. Dog. Damn, damn. We got here. 
<laughs> we got for the show go to uh, go to Larry after this dog because one of these numbers come out nigga I'm gonna be mad as hell dog so we got we got twelve twelve what we gonna put nine three zero nigga like yeah y'all put coming <laughs> I've put... never played the lottery before for sure damn I don't even really I... no you know how nope man I've been playing that shit since I was sixteen. Get out of here. Yeah, I stopped like two years ago. The Matter daily fact, fours and threes and shit. Huh? The daily fours yep. and daily threes and shit. Nigga, before Christmas, dog, I was 18, dog. Uh, four days before Christmas, nigga, I was broke. My check was $80, nigga, because I had called off like the whole week. I was sick. My girlfriend at the time bought me a gift, dog, and I had shit for her. So, nigga, I had $5. I played $5 worth of numbers. One of them numbers came out, nigga. That was 2700 right there. You was 16? 18, right? 18. On that one. Yeah, 18. Oh, you a real old head then. <laughs> <laughs> start playing numbers as soon as you could. <laughs> Dog, I remember that shit, nigga. I hit that bitch. Me and my brother, I got me and my brother them, uh, the hologram Jordans, the 13s, the black and red ones. They came out. Mm -hmm. Got some shot time Air Force Ones. Got my girlfriend at the time some shoes. Got our nails. How much did you win? 27. 2700. Off of $5, nigga. Like, that's hard. Gave my mama uh, rent money and pay rent that month. Oh, that's hard. Nigga, we were smooth. That was a good-ass Christmas, dog. So after that, you like, I need to go back, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, and been losing ever since, nigga. <laughs> so I stopped. Once Fan Dude came out, and you could bet on sports, I'm like, man, fuck this lottery shit. Trust me. I, I know basketball, nigga. You mess with the sports betting? Mm-hmm. Heavy, nigga. Football and basketball, like, sometimes I do some random-ass baseball and shit, dog. I tried to get into it last year and shit, but I'm like, my homeboy, he really popping with it. He do yeah, shit you got to really study that shit, dog. Like, stats and what niggas doing and shit like that, dog. I don't even be having time to watch sports, so that's one reason <laughs> I was down there messing up trying to get into it. I ain't even been watching it. Man, you know for saying? sure. Hell yeah, you just go ahead guessing. That's what my nigga be doing. I don't know shit about basketball. Just be like, hit me up. Like, nigga, what, uh, what Orlando be doing? Well, my, well, somebody used to send me some pics and stuff like that, but. Oh, yeah. Because niggas, niggas be charging niggas for their picks, dog. Facts. Like, nigga, I don't know if I can really trust that shit, dog. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. Shit, man. Today is uh, this is gonna be aired on Tuesday, but today Halloween, dog. Real quick, you got a funny Halloween story like a cheap ass costume or some shit that was funny as hell, dog. Cause with me, I just remember my mama, dog. I ain't say this shit on your show, but nigga, when you ain't had no costume and you just dressed up as a bum, put mm. on some motherfucking whack ass clothes and be like, what you? I'm, like, I'm a bum. Like, you know, I did. The only thing I did was when I was a kid, where well, I didn't have a costume, I just wore my football, my little my little league football um, <laughs> costume. So nigga, I was a like a football, football player, player. <laughs> but I really was a football player, so it was like really wasn't no. <laughs> but yeah. no, I mean honestly, man, I don't even know what the first hundred house I went to. Oh shit, what you got? What happened I was like that? nine years old. Yeah, and it was on the west side somewhere, and we was going up the stairs, man. I it's like a horror story. I probably I went to some more afterwards in high school and stuff like that, but. Yeah. Man, I messed my shin up from people who were so scared and <laughs> I'm a nine year old kid. Yeah, you know getting what I'm saying? trampled and shit. Dog. Pushing me up the stairs and messed my whole shin up. Dog. I ain't never been to no real legit honey house, dog. I just been to like some bullshit niggas that made in the house and charged niggas five dollars to get in. Nigga, you ain't scared. It's just an uncle motherfucker, Uncle Tyrone right there trying to scare you and shit. <laughs> With a cigarette, nigga, like. Dog. Matter of fact, right here on Flanders, nigga. I'm about to say it was a house like that on out of drive somewhere on um, <laughs> They used to do something like that, but they house was cold though. Oh yeah, see this shit was whack as hell. I heard we got that bitch, dog. For, nigga, you could we could got kidnapped in that motherfucker. You never even knew, Trust dog. Trust me. For sure. Man, but before we get into what you do, bro, we always like to see what, you know, say how it was growing up, man. Where you, what part of town are you from? Who's in the household, man? All that good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm from the D. I'm from Six Mile. Um, Fine, finally got a nigga from the East Side in this motherfucker, dog. Six Mile and Mile area. My block was Gable. You yeah. Know what I'm okay, so, okay. I grew up with mom and pops in the crib. You feel me? Um, they both, you know, regular life. Yeah, for sure. Um, I got two older sisters. You dig what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Um. No brothers, man. No, no, not biological. Okay, you know okay. I got some brothers, but we ain't biological. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Was it tough? Like niggas just having sisters, like. Would you and it was would you easy. Add? Okay. I had all the toys to myself. Oh yeah. I was down there. I ain't had to clean up after myself. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I ain't had to share I ain't had to share nothing with nobody. You know what I'm saying? They already everybody was doing everything for me. So. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Now uh how would you is your mom and pops they still together? Mm -mm. Okay, okay, I about to say They you... split a little early, but I'm my pops only it kinda worked out because 'cause I'm my pops only child, so when they split, okay. you know, it's just like the double Christmas type shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Sometimes that shit work out, dog. Sometimes, you know, it ain't always bad when when parents split up. Sometimes that shit can be ugly. Trust me. <laughs> but it worked out. Yeah, for sure. What about uh as far as like in the crib, man, like you into music with the management shit, dog. Who were some people that you was liking just based off what your mom and pops was was playing? Like you was liking the artists that they was fucking with. 
from the beginning, like yeah. on my mama end, yeah, like I'm gonna say Prince prank. and Michael Jackson. Oh shit, hell yeah, you hell yeah, classics, saying? yeah, man. And uh, Tina Marie. Tina, Marie. oh yeah, my dad was in love with Tina Marie and shit. And then my dad, <laughs> Anita Baker, and then like and there every old school rap from like Master P, mm -hmm. E40, and. Um, three six mafia and stuff like that. Hell yeah, hell yeah, nigga. Three six mafia, nigga. I remember, dog. Um, my brother was calling me, man, because I guess I was messing with a hood rat. I was in ninth grade and shit, so he always seen that one three six mafia song, "Don't Save Her" and shit. <laughs> so, nigga, shout out to Eric Alliance and shit, dog. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't even know what song he, you didn't even know what the song was about, nigga, probably. at all, bro. I'm like, why he keep saying that shit, dog? Then I got older, like, nigga, you a whole ass nigga, dog. You was but, putting you on game. Yeah, but no, three six was definitely hard as hell, dog. Power Jet Pat. Master P had everybody on motherfucking No Limit, man, popping off and shit, dog. I grew up watching No Bout. I'm about it. Oh, hell I yeah. I used to be outside re reenacting. Friendly! Hell yeah, that was the shit, dog. <laughs> hell yeah, dog. So with that shit, you, you listen to music, you getting your game. Once you got ear for uh, music, dog, who are some people you was fucking with once you got your own? You know what I'm saying? Your own ear for it and your own understanding. Who I really like stuck with Wayne, dog. Yeah, for sure, classic. Wayne. I ain't even gonna say like Cash Money because I was like, you know, I was young, I was rocking with Cash Money. Yeah. I'm gonna say like Wayne, like himself, just yeah, hell yeah. Once he came out with that Carter too, you feel me? Or the Carter, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He came out with the Carter and all of that. After that, mm -hmm. Wayne. Um, yeah, niggas can fuck with Wayne, dog. He was on the run, nigga. Like, nigga, fuck Kanye West, song. bro. Yeah, that's the first album I ever bought. Oh shit, yeah, we guys, yeah, His the first, first one. album. Kanye West album College Dropout. Yeah, I was nine years old, two thousand four. Now, now when you went to, went to go buy, did you buy like, the real version of Bootleg? I went to Target. Oh yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. We went to Target. This I want this one. Yeah, Target Eastland, huh? Um, I was oh. standing on the West Side at that time. I was standing oh, okay. on Shiny and the Shaver, so I went to the um, Wonderland. Okay, well, damn Wonderland Mall. Remember Wonderland nigga? Mall. Damn, that's a throwback, oh, bro. Yeah. That, you know, I remember that shit though. Hell no, Wonderland. Wonderland. Mall. I went to that Target. Yeah, hell yeah, but no, nah, yeah, that first CD dog, and then that's why I be saying like now it's different. Like I mean, you still get good music, but just open up a, a CD player dog, like I me mean, a CD, and then seeing like the credits and shit like that dog. I used to love the artwork. Yeah, for sure. I used to just like to look at the pictures and then mm -hmm. you know it's a poster basically. So hell yeah, you, know. you can put that bitch on the, on the on the wall and shit dog. No, hey. I had bought a couple albums when I was a kid with my own money. I had bought John Legend first album. I was about to ask you about your R and B bag. I bought. Lloyd Banks' first album. Yeah, Hunger for More and shit, dog. I had Eminem Encore album. Okay. Eminem used to be one of my favorite rappers. Hell yeah, it used to be mine. So I got, but then, like, niggas be sh uh, talking shit, dog. I say, I don't like, I'm not a fan of Eminem now, in the post, like, how he was back then. I feel like back then he had something to rap about. Like, right now, I feel like his whole cadence and everything about his, his structure of songs is Just totally. Just out. Yeah, it's different. Like, you got that. I don't remember him rapping this fast back then. Like, you know what I'm saying? He like, wasn't. He, yeah. I, he just started doing that, and then he just stuck with it at a certain point. Yeah, dog. Like, the last album I think he had that was good was, um, I want to say maybe his third or fourth album, dog. I forgot the name of it, man. But after that, it's like, it just went down, nigga. Like, it wasn't the same no more. I think it was like when Encore came out, that's when he kind of got different. When him and Dr. Drake came out with that little, what was Yo. that song they had when he was Batman and um, Oh, Robin? yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, Guess I know. Guess who's some, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back again. Yo, yo, I remember that shit, dog. That's when he had like a decent flow. I like that flow. Oh, maybe because niggas ain't in his ear like, hey, man, what you doing? Like, niggas probably like, uh, he he one of the top rappers and shit. So niggas too afraid to tell him like, hey, man, you need to go back to this old shit or, or like, you I ain't think. ain't listening to nobody. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But I think the thing with him, with the thing with, Eminem and Lil Wayne is they can rap like I love Wayne, but I think the one thing about them too though we we never got like an album like a, a album about them, you know what I'm saying about we know about Eminem with his mom and how he was was but what about right now like Jay Z with the four 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 he was talking about what was going on in his life right now. Shit, Wayne did talk about Juvie and them leaving Cash Money and yeah. I forgot what album that was on though. That was on um that was on Carter One. That was uh, I miss my dogs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. But I think like maybe more of those type of albums that like separate like niggas like Nas and Hov because they could touch on what's going on in their life right now. You feel me? I feel like Eminem and Wayne just be rapping. At this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. At this point niggas just say what they want to say. They done say they done said everything already, damn. <laughs> yeah. Especially that's how I feel about Wayne. He he done said all the coders, bars and metaphors. For sure. <laughs> Like, it ain't really nothing else, to, nothing else to say at this point. You know no, what I mean? No, for sure, dog, for sure. We, now, <sighs> stick on music, bro. Give me an album or a song that every time you hear it, man, it take you back to a point in your life that you can remember just like, damn, like yesterday. American Gangster Jay-Z. 
Okay, what was going on during that time, though? Like, you remember, like... That was 2008 middle school. Damn, I'm old. I was playing... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was playing basketball, and we was, me and my pops, we used to listen to that, that album laying there. Mm -hmm. I was falling asleep to that album, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. American Gangster. Nigga, that's a, a slept on album, bro. Slept on. That's one of my top... That's probably even my favorite Jay-Z album. Yeah, that's a slept on album for sure, dog. And Kingdom Come, too. Yeah, Nick, you know what? I thought it was trash when it first came out, but when you go back and listen to it, he had some straight songs on that's that. That's when he was like on his grown man yeah. shit. He, that's when the 30 new, uh, yeah. 30 new that's 20 that, song. That, um, I lost one. He was talking yep. about Dame Dash lost and one. all the yep. niggas. And his, uh, hey, low key, that one, the last verse, he was talking about Beyonce. When he was talking about the chick that she uh, more mature than me or whatever. Yeah. She, uh, yeah, honestly, at 23, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, he was talking about Beyonce at the time. Talking about her, her focus on her career yeah, and stuff and, like and that. Yeah, and now, and now in the relationship and shit. Yeah, I remember that. Hell yeah, that nigga lucky as hell got motherfucker Beyonce. <laughs> How? Man, what? Hell That's yeah. That's the question. Hell yeah, man. Now, something we've been asking niggas, man. I, I made it up a couple of episodes ago, dog. What's some shit that you wanted to do as a kid, but you never pursued it or you was too embarrassed to tell people? Like with me, I always say I wanted to be like a motherfucking a karate kid or motherfucking a tap dancer and shit. <laughs> a tap dancer Yeah for sure You want to be tap. Mr. Joe Bojangles Hell yeah nigga for sure So is it some silly shit That you wanted to get into But you like man This shit ain't for real I don't want to call it silly mm -hmm. Cause you know what I'm saying People would get offended But mm -hmm. I used to want to be a pastor Oh for real okay okay like, I mean laughing Sunday so, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I used what? to be want to be like Deion Sanders I want to play football And be a pastor Yeah yeah What you went to church Growing up or something like, Yeah I grew to make up you... in church Okay okay yeah, I, man, I never heard nobody say They want to be a pastor dog Yeah man I used to want to be a pastor it's Like I was like man I could do that I want yeah, to do that For sure That's for probably sure. the only I don't want to call it weird But that was yeah. probably Like the most off thing Some I ever different... said I wanted to grow up to be yeah. You know what I mean What changed your mind dog Like Life, <laughs> yeah, life, dog. Hell yeah, I feel you, dog. Now to go back to your childhood, growing up, man. Like we already said, you went to King, man. Play uh football, whatever, dog. Like what position you played? Running back and corner. Running back corner, dog. You were straight. I was tight. Okay, was that was it like you had like football dreams? Like I'm gonna go to the NFL or? Yeah, I did. I got it tattered on me and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. What happened, dog? Like you just changed it. Was it interesting no more? Yeah, man, I kind of, at King, it was a different, it's a different, like, a. it was a different, It's a, at King, it's a different type yeah, it's of, with the King and shit, man. playing football for King, their culture is different, man, so yeah. it's like, I don't want to speak too much about it, but I'll talk to any kid right now first before they ever go, I don't want to say nothing about my school bad, because we win championships yeah, and we do sure. what we do, but like, it's tough. Playing for King, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, for sure. That kind of without saying too much, <laughs> that kind of deterred some of the football dreams because I didn't switch schools or whatever. There, but mm. yeah, hell yeah, man, King. And during that time, niggas was uh, y'all football team was straight. Y'all had what's name? I remember that nigga was Thompson. Was, uh, yep, he was way better at football to me than basketball because he was straight at basketball, but that nigga was just a hundred miles per hour. On basketball. You used, to, you used to probably come to the game. Yeah, I come to every game. Yeah. Him, uh, my you brother. See that? Man, my, you my see brother, him on the field, though? I never, seen to, I never seen his football games. I always heard how cold he was, though. <sighs> he was like the fastest thing out there. That used to be weird. <laughs> Duh. He, and then he had that same structure, body, <laughs> nigga, the same even in middle school. Oh, like, yeah. With, I, oh, yeah. He played for the Rams and shit. Yeah, like in Pal, he was, because he was hooping. I see him hooping and shit against Mount. I'm like, this nigga a little strong ass little nigga, dog. Man, that, that nigga's down there pit bull since he was born. Hell <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, because you had coach. Uh, he making music now, though. You know he rocking with me now with the music. Oh, straight up. Yeah. Oh shit, damn. Two I, major. I know he was doing music, but I didn't know like if he was still doing that shit. Yeah, he um he performed at my first concert out there in July, so yeah, he yeah. going hard with the music now. That's for sure. Yeah, because he was a beast at fucking football. You know what I'm saying? He was he was he was good at basketball. I just felt like you could tell when a football nigga play basketball, dog. Cause they more they, aggressive. They know how to switch it. Yeah. They don't know how to switch it, dog. Like that nigga, he's don't get me wrong. That nigga was sweet at basketball. I think sometimes nigga was just too fast for his own good on the court. And he was taking it straight to the rack, like <laughs> oh, yeah. touch me. Like, but they had squad him, my brother Malik Albert, yeah. the twins. Like we won city championship that yep, year. We yep. was at Callahan Hall. Hell yeah, Malcolm fucked that shit up. That nigga left King. Like man, he going was, crazy. He got to it with he Coach that year. I he got to it with Coach Brooks. Co him and Coach Brooks wasn't seeing eye to eye. You was supposed to be on there, Matt. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, man. Uh, what's the other nigga? They had a couple of little straight niggas. They were small, but they were straight, though. But shit, man, what you, you say, you know what I'm saying, you kind of lost that passion for football afterwards, dog. Was uh was you fucking with uh college afterwards, or? No, I didn't go to college. Okay, okay. That was started that working, you know what I'm saying, got caught up in just trying to make money. Was your mom and dad, like, disappointed, like, they want you to go to college? Because, you know, some parents would be mad, like, that's their goal is to get their kid to go to school. No, I wouldn't know. 
major disappointment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really just made my own decision and I just mm -hmm. made my own decision to start working and making money. You For know sure. what I mean? So I've just been making money ever since I stopped playing football. Yeah, that shit worked out, so you all good. <laughs> now, get back to the music shit, dog. Who was your first favorite rapper, dog? Like, my first favorite rapper was MC Hammer. My first favorite rapper? Yeah. I would say Eminem. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah he was probably like the first favorite one. Yeah, Especially yeah. when I first found out he was in Detroit. I don't know how old I was when I found out 8 Mile the movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, eight mile, when 8 mile the movie came yeah. out, I, went, I think I went to see that on my birthday. Okay. So. Nigga was hype as hell, like nigga from Detroit. Yeah, when I found out he was from Detroit, I'm like, oh, yeah, he really he really my favorite now. Nah. Hell, yeah. He improved for all the niggas. Uh, uh, what's the name? Man, he'll be making the beats. Denial, Denial Porter. They had, my man, he still be doing beats. He did to a uh, motherfucking uh, DMS last album. Did two of the cuts. Uh, Denied Porter. He was on D12. He uh he did the song with I'm um yeah he did uh two songs off of uh, DMS last album dog. He mm -hmm. did some shit with Fifty. He doing I heard because I uh, I worked with his lady. Um I think this is lady. I don't know if I should say that, but <laughs> all right doing more music and shit dog with some uh with some upcoming rappers and shit that's dope and shit dog. So, What's yeah, his name again? Den uh, Denai Porter. Night Porter, I might yeah. tap in with him. Hell yeah, man, he a good man, good producer, man. Got a good sound. It ain't the same ordinary, you know, what I'm saying sounding beats like how we hear. Shit cold though, yeah, for real. He, from, he was with D12, so he definitely a D12. Yeah. And he was he was doing a lot of shit with Fifty Cent when he first came out. Like uh, uh, he did a lot of production on on uh, Get Rich Die Trying and The Massacre. Mm. So he was tapped in and he was doing some shit, nigga. He was just kind of like behind the scenes with it, dog. Mm. Yeah, I gotta tap in. So I know, man, you. Everybody was in their rap bed, dog. I know once upon a time you was probably in your rap bed, dog. You got shit, Richie Slick. That's a rap name, right? <laughs> so it's tell me, tell it's me, actually about... a pimp name. <laughs> yeah, 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 I actually yeah. got it from a pimp. You know what I'm saying? The pimp <laughs> gave me that name. <laughs> so tell me, when you was in your rap bed, bro? Like actually, that that year when I told you I bought the Kanye album, mm -hmm. that was fourth grade, dog. I did a I did a talent show and I rapped. Um, that year, I had rapped his, um, that song where he had Bernie Mac on there. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 hell yeah. No, which one? No, it was another song. You know, all the people that's drug dealing just to oh, get yeah, by. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have your money till you get sky yeah, yeah. high. So, I performed that at the, um, challenge show. And before that, though, you remember we used to take the meat test? <laughs> that damn meat test, dog. So, I think it was after, I think it was after the, um, talent show, I started writing my own raps and whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, they let me... And my homeboy who started writing raps too, they we made a meat test rap and we had to go to like every fourth grade class and rap the rap. <laughs> Duh, hell no. They got so, meat test rap. Yeah, that was my rapping bag. Then me and my cousin, well he my we used to rap a little bit. I've been rapping. I used to do everybody rap. You yeah, know what I'm hell saying? yeah. But, was it something you wanted to be serious with once you got like in high school older and shit, dog? Uh yeah, in high school, yep. Yeah. Rapping and Singing more. I started got on the singing end. You dig what I'm saying? So, okay, hell yeah. Get that singing shit. And come, that come from church. You know what I'm saying? So okay. you ever use that shit as your bad to pull a chick? Like nigga, just singing. Start singing, yeah. <laughs> like fuck, I'm man. We should do it in middle school a little bit. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> what that one mean? Go Deontay <laughs> when niggas start dancing. Shit. Yeah. We used, to, we used to do that in middle school a little bit, man. We some we some freaky little niggas. In middle school, man. <laughs> Duh, I always been jealous of niggas who could sing, dog, and that was part of their motherfucking bag as far as pulling the chick, man. Yeah, we that was that a cheat code right school. there, dog. <laughs> niggas start singing like, oh, he can sing, girl. Like, well, you bringing back a whole bunch of memories that I don't even be thinking about no more. <laughs> man, I tried, man. This podcast, I tried, dog. That's funny. I be hate when niggas just be having like, I hate when niggas be having this regular like podcast talk. You know what I'm saying? For lack of a better word, nigga, like you you know what you about to get once you once a nigga sit down like. Oh, here we go, this boring ass conversation and shit. Trust like, me, you know trust what I'm saying? Me. And then he'd be like, nigga, have you, do you know me? Nigga? Have you ever, <laughs> did you look up anything I'm doing, nigga? Right, cause that, you threw me off with the with that first question. Oh, yeah, man, you know, man. I tried, dog. This nigga know I play for <laughs> <laughs> I tried my hardest, dog. I'm like Gillian Wallow, dog. I try to find some I shit. I want out. the greatest, but I, if, if anybody knew me, they knew I did my thing for sure. Oh, hell yeah, for I had sure. touchdowns, I had score, I had stats, I had stats for sure. Yards, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Scores and everything, so. Let me ask you this, dog. If, uh, would you ever think about putting some music out now? Uh, myself? Just to try it, yeah. I can't, no, not right now. Yeah. If I do, it'd be like some DJ Khaled type stuff. I just like. Okay, just put out, we have you know, niggas like, collaborations. You feel me? Yeah. It's like on some DJ Khaled type stuff. You ever find yourself writing to something, like writing, writing music? No, I could though. Yeah, hell yeah, you know that could be another bad nigga. You could write for somebody if you don't want to fuck with it yourself. You I know? be having ideas, but I do, I kind of do that with artists. I help people, you know what I'm saying? I help yeah. create. Lyrics and hooks and 
mm-hmm. all that. You know what I'm saying? The idea of the song, the concept of a song, something like that. For so sure. I, I still get all of that in me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I just, just, I just hop behind the business more in, you dig what I'm saying? Because yeah. I ain't... I ain't see myself being a real performer. Yeah, know, it's you know? more longevity when you're doing the other shit. Like, if I knew when I was growing up, bro, like, I wanted to do music for real. But if I knew, like, how much producers were making, making beats and shit, or, like, writers, or, like, like you said, management, I would have took a whole different approach to, to the shit. Because yeah. you could be however old and shit be successful at that. And rap, <laughs> niggas could say you're an old head, nigga, it's kind of like it's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't going to really fuck with you unless you a nigga like Hove or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? That's, I think that's kind of dying down because you see Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, and he about to drop another album. Yeah, for sure. And 40 still making double albums. <laughs> that nigga, man. Well, I bet, he been I, making I double albums nigga. since the 90s. So he been <laughs> making double and triple albums since the 90s. So he's still doing double albums. Mm-hmm. Him and Too Short just did one. So, you know. And then he about to do the shit with uh, that, what, that uh, Rushmore shit with him, Snoop, Ice Cube, and uh, Too Short. Yep. You yeah. Know, I, know. I thought that was just a tour, though. Nope, they doing an album. I didn't even know that. They said he'll be doing albums, so yeah, that's, yeah. You right though, but yeah, I just wish like it's, it's so much money behind the scenes that I think kids need to know about that just as much as they know about you know saying being a rapper. I think most niggas want to be the face of everything, so they don't really want to pay attention to what's going on in the background and shit. You can you can make just as much if not more money. It's actually and it's a different type of respect level too. If you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Hell yeah. I don't, I don't know how it's different you know what I'm saying yeah, it's a different sure. type of respect you get saying no I'm management it's not like oh okay what's going on you know what <laughs> yeah, for sure yeah hell yeah hell yeah now before we get to that all right, one last question dog give me your top three record labels like ever I'm gonna start with current right. um, and somebody I looked up to I'm getting closer to um, QC okay QC yeah he doing his thing um I would say rap a lot yeah. But I wasn't really listening to him. I just like the the way Jay Prince moved. I just yeah. like you know his, his mannerisms yeah. and just how he moved, just his whole history. For sure, for sure. So rap a lot. See, I'm about to say I'm surprised. You Rock, probably Rockefeller. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just, just like for me, I got I put what's him in there just not because I was listening to every album on the label because they were, they were dropping albums like crazy, but no limit just because of. That nigga Pete Hustle, dog. Yeah. Like, he a hustle motherfucker. He'll sell you a motherfucking But I'm paper, telling y'all, nigga. people don't know, he literally got that from E-40. Yeah, from, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, when he was over in the Bay and shit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, E-40 uncle, actually. So, you know how they went from the hood movies and mm-hmm. the music? E-40 and them was already doing it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. He definitely got his game from them niggas, dog. So, when he moved out to Richmond and got the hanging out, you dig what I'm saying? It got mm-hmm. cool 40 and them. And mm-hmm. 40 uncle was really like the OG. He the one who ran the record store. Yep. That's when Pete, you know what I'm saying, they ain't there followed the same blueprint. Yeah, hell yeah. You're right. You're right. So, yeah, you got to put Jay Prince in that bitch then. Rap a lot. All them niggas, dog. You got to do that shit then. And then you got to put E40 because them niggas, both them niggas probably influence a lot of niggas as far as like doing shit on their own and not being worried about the independent back yeah. for sure. Hell yeah. So yeah, those two niggas you probably gotta throw in that shit then for independent sure. Independent movies, independent. Hell yeah. Time to move. They started in. that shit then. Yeah. Yeah. That's Facts. It. Yeah, for sure. Now nigga with management, dog. What made you want to get into that shit? Tap in your management bag. Like you was you were playing football, you said you you know what I'm saying you was thinking about the music and shit. Like what made you want to dive in that? Well, my main artist, my first artist, T Nice, that's my beloved cousin, so Okay. Cuz always been nice with the with the music, so mm-hmm. I just figured I don't even know. I was 19. He was just making music, man, and just... Y'all about the same age, too, and shit? No, he... Like, five, six years older than me. Mm-hmm. But he always was cold, and I just figured, like, he needed a manager. Mm-hmm. And I just started saying it, like, all right, I'm your manager. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, speaking And after shit. that, I damn near put myself through, like, a life... College, life school, just like, all right, what do managers really do? You hear yeah. me? So I started reading books and whatever, and we started going places and just started... Going to studio, like the first person, the first time I ever went to a real studio, I was with Cheddar Boy Malik. Okay, okay, hell yeah, classic so, nigga, dog. I'm that, a Cheddar, hell yeah, nigga, Malik was cold, dog. Yeah, that's, that's when that one of the niggas we talking about from back then with rapping and shit, who was cold from the city. Yeah, yeah. so the first time I ever went to a, a real studio was with Cheddar Boy Malik. Okay, okay. Hell yeah, because what, 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 shit, what, uh, where was that, dog? Because I remember he used to fuck with this one light-skinned nigga named Mike. Man, it actually was in the hood. It was in the project on Oh shit, hell yeah. You know, it was it was tight how they set it up though. It was like yeah. it looked it real, like it was like a real nice, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. basement studio set up, but like, yeah. It was legit though. It was legit. So you say you got in that bitch just cause your your, your cousin rapping and you like fuck it, I'm gonna be a manager. Yep. Hell no. Now you say you did research and shit like that. Who are some niggas that 
you looked up to as managers, man, because like we got Kevin Lyles, we got motherfucking uh, Shot Money, you know what I'm saying? We got niggas like Dame Dash, is, you know what I'm saying? From Detroit, you got Eastside Wine with uh, Solid Baby and shit. Oh, definitely all our Detroit managers. I'm going to shout out Juan, shout out Chanel, Dominique, shout out um, Lando doing his management thing. Shout out Coach Joey on the management. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like the biggest game, I I don't, they were CEOs. So the, I just really looked up to the CEOs, like um, Russell Simmons. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, Hell, yeah. P, 40, J yeah. Prince, um, Q, and Coach K. Yeah, because he's doing his thing now. You like, feel me? Yeah. So. On a, on a, no. Really, just them right there. That's who I really looked up to. I can't even just say on the management tip, just on the on the CEO business tip. Now, but when you look at shit like that, you gotta think about what's name, dog. I thought about that shit like rappers who put niggas on who don't get the credit. Gucci man, dog. Facts. That nigga <laughs> put. Oh, and Auntie Dead for sure. Oh yeah, hell was, yeah. Oh, on the management, yeah, nigga, Auntie what? Dead for sure, cause she she hard. I remember when she when she first got with Castro. That's when I really got a real real whiff of her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What she was. So I'm like. Cats are all working with Waka Flocka Mama and this and that. Yep, you know yep, yep, so. yep. Niggas, damn, she, yeah, damn, here's a motherfucker. Yeah, because she probably the one who, who who got Gucci to be a high years as far as finding find talent. Because she had Nicki Minaj before she was with Wayne and you know? them. She had French. motherfucking French Montana, nigga, like, nigga Waka, nigga, uh, her son, nigga, Gucci. Oh, yeah, Juice Man, you can't tell me shit. That nigga was, had run, nigga. She like, was with him? Well, he came from Gucci. Yeah, he came from Gucci, yeah. But yeah, yeah, you definitely got to put her in there as far as the, as far as the managers who was doing their thing in the, in the South and shit, dog. But Dame Dash is one nigga I feel like was a dope nigga as far as like a CEO. And Dame, yeah, you can't forget about Dame, man. You That's can't. my dog. Even though do I, Dame I, dance. I, feel, I feel like he messed himself up a lot and some things he did as far as decisions, but... That nigga started that whole shit with Rockefeller, with Jay-Z, with everybody. Like, if it was for Dame, nigga, we wouldn't have none of them niggas. But he was a great, he still is a great businessman, you dig what I'm saying? He's yeah. just obnoxious and think, arrogant, you he, know what I mean? He let personal shit get in the way. And that too. You know what I'm saying? He was still street, so that's part of the street side of, you know, mm -hmm. he he allowed some of the street mentality to carry into the business. And like, But you can't always take that into the office with you, you know what I'm saying? So Hell yeah. At what point did you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you was ready, like, to, for real, for real, take on that manager role? Like, all right. I did enough research and shit like this this something I could do for sure. Mm. I mean I don't never really had that that particular thought, but like yeah. I started I've really been going hard at it mm -hmm. since twenty nineteen. That's when I really just like alright I'm gonna go harder. Like, cause I had a couple friends I was managing mm -hmm. and trying to push them, push their music, whatever. For but sure. um yeah, man, shit, since 2019, I just, for the last two years, I've been going oh, hard. And yeah, hell yeah. If you pay attention to my page and stuff that I got going now, mm -hmm. it's starting to pay off, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So, hell yeah, hell my yeah. My network building, my, my contact list building, you mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know. Hell yeah. Now, what, we were talking about Detroit Sound and how, like, <clears throat> now niggas is getting used to us and shit and, and fucking with us, dog, but as a manager, what do y'all be seeing, like, in a Detroit artist? Like, when they sound the same, do y'all be like, oh, here go another nigga? Sound like a Detroit rapper, or do y'all look at it like this is just a Detroit sound? It's just just a Detroit sound, just like it's an Atlanta sound. Like when I go to Atlanta, mm -hmm. you can hear plenty of people sounding like the Migos, or plenty of people sounding like Gucci. Hell yeah, for and sure. And D, you know what I'm saying? You gonna hear plenty of people sounding like Face or Payroll or Peasy mm -hmm. or Vezo. You know what I'm saying? Same cadence. It's just our cadence. Yeah, for sure. It's our cadence and our slang. You know what I'm saying? You can't help where we from. Hell yeah, that's a fact. You know what I mean? yeah. So when you go to yeah. when you go to Oakland and you hear like. Um, What's them boys called? Uh, S O B O B like the hype, the hypey, yeah, 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 hypey sure. music. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel Hell me? You yeah. got Detroit music. You got you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah for whatever sure. Whatever they call the it, Texas, Texas music. Yeah, yeah whatever that, they call it, Texas. Shit. New yeah. York, the New York shit. Chicago yeah. drill. You know what I'm saying? We sound how we but sound. But not New York niggas. <laughs> shit, most of them they be sound like different stuff. A little bit. Some, uh, I mean, it's starting to get back to that they New got York they, sound. They got their own sound now, but y'all know yeah. what you're saying because as far as they were just like a melting pot of sounds. Yeah. You feel me? It was nobody like. You had your class of niggas like Jada Kiss, you know what I'm saying? Fab. But then, as you got older and time was going by, niggas was kind of sound like they were from the South. But now, I That's think... That's because the South was taking over, so you had to sound like that. Hell yeah, you for sure. Saying? Especially on, like, on the platform that New York was on, so... Hell yeah. My boy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I fucked him up with that football shit, nigga, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah But no yeah I think that's what it was At the time The South was so cold With everything Niggas wanted to be like You know what I'm saying You gotta have that sound Yeah that you beat You gotta have that, that sound, sound. And, you know, Even Detroit Shit Some some artists That was really popping From Detroit That I'm gonna say Like Tone Tone And Yeah Um 
you know, he had a, a southern sound for me. For like sure, that. he you did. Know, he he wasn't sounding like no Detroit, regular Detroit rap. But, no, you know not at all. He, he embodied it from my look, but uh, he was messing with Jazzy Faye and him. Hell yeah, for sure. So, he was down there heavy. Yeah, hell yeah. What's, no, what's your advice to a, to a, to an artist, bro, who dope can do this shit, but nigga ain't got the funds, like to you know what I'm saying go to the studio, ain't got the you know what I'm saying he getting YouTube beats because he can't afford beats. Like, what's your advice for that dude, for that person? Um. Build a network, man. Yeah. Like, just try to build a team or get somebody, get around people who believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Get as much help as you can. You dig what I'm saying? That's all I can really say. Yeah. But if you can't afford it, get the money, make the money first. Yeah. Put yourself in position to be able to pay for beats and pay for studio time and pay for promotion. So, yeah, yeah. if anything, get the money first and then invest into yourself if that's what you really want to do. Yeah, for sure. What What's some shit that you see, like, nigga, like, like biggest mistakes niggas make? Like, I'm a rapper, and, like, damn, this nigga fucking up already. Recording music and just dropping it without yeah. no, without <laughs> nothing behind it. Like, how yeah. we gonna do this? How we gonna, all right, how many views do you see this song getting? Or yeah. this video getting? Mm -hmm. All right, so you should be doing X, Y, Z to make sure, you know what I'm saying, we secure this amount of views or, yeah. or plays or whatever like that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So. Yeah, because niggas do, I think a lot of times niggas hold themselves up because they be like, all right, even when I call myself a right, rapper, nigga, you like, niggas be too afraid to put music out because you don't know what how people gonna feel about it. So you wind up taking so long to put it out that then you holding yourself up at the end of the day. I was just telling my cousin the other day, like last night, like, nigga, you need to put some music out because, nigga, you putting a song out once every year, nigga, we, you forgot about you, nigga, niggas gonna forget about you. It's like the game rapidly changed, like dropping music, dropping music, dropping music. And that's still a thing, but it's like, it's really only thing once you at a point. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should still do it, have, have content available, you know what I'm saying, yeah. have it out, but like, still figure out a way to for Nagel to get some views, like, all right, yeah. do something out of the ordinary mm -hmm. to, to do some marketing. Yeah, yeah. To, to get, to put it in people's faces and to get the, get some responses, to get some listens, you dig what I'm saying? So, yeah, because yeah, niggas don't be, niggas just put some shit out there and they'll be like, all right, nigga, bam, it's right there. It's, I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing behind it, what I'm gonna do, no, nigga, but like you said, niggas ain't got no structure or, or a plan to even figure out how they gonna, you know what I'm saying, how they gonna promote this shit. You gotta treat yourself like a business, man. You gotta treat like it's like it's your product. Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm saying? You don't wanna just be giving out you done spent studio time money on this. You know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. You done spent so much money and time on this, you wanna try to recoup something, like at least from the recoup it in views. If you can't recoup it in money, recoup it in views. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Exposure. Yeah. No, fast, 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 fast. Building the buzz. Hell yeah. Now as a manager dog, what's some things you feel like can break the relationship with the artist? Because you see a lot of niggas come in with this person. But don't finish with that person. You know what I'm saying? Is it the money play? Is it niggas in people's ear? Like, you can you need to go with somebody else who's going to get your career a little higher? Like, what do you think be fucking shit up like it that? Could be, it could be a little bit of both. Because, you know, sometimes some artists will get on a certain level and leave who they started with. Yeah. Um. You know, then, you know, some people will. You might have somebody in the ear like, I could do this for you. I could do that for you. In their ear and they, Sound that good. Can, that can do it, too. But mm -hmm. um, it varies. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I don't really know too many... That's really be personal problems at yeah, that point. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah. I really, I really can't say. So if you my manager, nigga, like, what, would, like, what would you do, like, nigga? All right, nigga, shit, keep this bond, nigga. Don't let money get in between us. Like, what would you do? It would be those conversations. Would be like letting it, let them know about, you know, what I'm saying what's going on with the deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't I don't I can't say what to break the bond. Yeah. I mean, just just following the game plan. Like, yeah. we, if we sit down and come up with a game plan. Run through it, man. So don't waste my time and like have me put together something for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you sure. ain't even you ain't even about to go do none of this. You ain't about to go <laughs> none of these podcasts. You ain't about to go to none of these performances. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So hey, you on your DMS shit, got Rizzo, nigga, missing shows and shit. Yeah, that's the <laughs> only thing. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Not now, following the process. Yeah. Now you were just talking about like you know what I'm saying as far as like putting songs out and stuff, dog. What's what what what, what you feel like an artist should focus? I've been having this conversation with a lot of niggas. Like, should focus on see on singles? Or should they be like trying to put out a whole body of work, dog? Singles. Yeah. Why? 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 Get that? that hot song. Get your hottest song and push it. Yeah. Push it. Push it. Push it, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's when you come up. That's what having a plan before you push it, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you created the song. Yeah. Alright, now I'm holding on to it. Mm -hmm. Let me figure out how I'm gonna make this mud hot and make people be able to listen to it. You did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, the artwork. How I want my artwork? I want some some a little bit different. You yeah. did. You know what I'm saying? So. Hell yeah, yeah. Cause niggas, cause they, cause like you said, if a nigga knew. And nigga power project nigga and put out 15 to 20 songs or whatever 10 to 20 songs and then niggas ain't fucking with it that means you gonna put all this money into beats studio time you feel me 
<laughs> what you doing? Hell yeah, Why dog. you doing it? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Then you wasted all this money, dog. Now you got to go back to, you know what I'm saying, ground zero, nigga. Because you didn't sit here and want to put a whole project out. And that's why I hate it. If, if, you, if you do put out a project as a new artist, dog, I make it five songs, nigga. Like, I hate when niggas put 20 songs out and niggas don't know them at all. So after the third song, if the third song ain't really capture your ear, nigga, you ain't about to fuck them no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I, nigga, I'm throwing it. I'm about to frisbee this nigga shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, that it. happens with new people sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It just takes them used to getting to. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 nigga. Nowadays, like, nigga, it's free game. It's free game all over the place, dog. You go on YouTube uni University. I don't know it's just coming downstairs and shit. But you go on YouTube University, dog. And figure out how to do everything on your own and shit, dog. So it's every time that as an artist you be like, man, fuck the manager. I can be the manager and I can be the motherfucking rapper. Yes, you can. Just yeah. start neck and working. You know what I'm saying? Figure out what major artists do mm -hmm. and how they do it. Y'all see how they do whole um, campaign runs before they album drop or before they got the single. How they push a the single? Yeah. They go talk about it on everything. Basically, what I'm doing for my company yeah. and for the uh, uh, the packages that we have with the FaceTime uh, meetings for the labels. So okay. Okay. All these people that I'm connected with, um, QC label and Empire Records and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. You know, basically how I've been on tour promoting. Yeah, yeah for you sure. Know what yeah, I'm saying. Y'all yeah, 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 yeah. should be on tour promoting your music the yeah. same way. Now, now Many said, different platforms. You said packages like what? What you so you, so you putting niggas in place to like like sit at the tables with these people or something like that? Like so, um, my my mentor in Atlanta he does Facetime meetings because you know he got a contact list. He got people phone numbers, so we can get you on Facetime with him. You can't get to him, you know what I'm saying? Everybody always everywhere, but like mm. if you feel like you got a hot song and you feel like I just need somebody to hear it, or if this one person is one label, we got industry connects like. The baby manager, little baby manager, um, a and R's Empire, a and R's at Motown, a and R at Capitol Records. Yeah. Um, just last night, I was with Quality Control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I with paid. Coalition DJs. We was with Rich Gang Cash Money. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? So, stuff like that. People like that, we been we getting them in connect with. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Now, like, it, I know. Let me ask you this: How like, you say that Facetime and getting people shit, getting people out there to talk to people? Why, why, some people gonna be like, all right, bet that could sound like maybe a scam. You feel me? Because you got niggas like rappers like when the um, Corona first hit, you had niggas making money like the Gang, Jada Kids, Bow Wow, Trainer. They were doing these mixtapes and they were promising niggas to get exposure, so they get that money and shit. But they after the mixtape is drop, you don't hear shit from it. Mm -hmm. Like so, how do you separate and, and let niggas know this ain't a scam? It's some real shit. Cause me being a, a broke nigga sometimes <laughs> so i want to make sure my money is getting into this shit and it's gonna be like for real for real i know you can't promise a deal from it but what can you promise so we can't promise a deal but we can promise to get you hurt so just so people can't <laughs> just to make it better you know what I'm saying? i got the packages available for the facetime meeting but december 4th yeah my um my mentor carlos brown is okay. coming to detroit yeah we're going to be at a discreet location okay we got a couple spots available to come meet him mm -hmm. And sit right here with me and him, mm -hmm. and he gonna call him. Mm -hmm. Okay, he gonna send. We gonna sit and listen to the song. We gonna sit right here in front of you. We gonna call QC yeah. the Lake. We gonna call Empire. Yeah. Like with you right here. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be it's yeah. more intimate. It's more personal. Yeah, for sure. You are gonna get the consultant from Carlos and the label. Yeah, you get two songs played. Yeah. So if they crack, you never. You it's yeah. intimate. You, you might can exchange yeah, information, information right there. Yeah, you yeah, dig yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? They sure. might like, damn, what you? You know what I'm saying? All right, I really like the song. We probably can do something more. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. just networking with an, with an artist, with one of their artists from their label, they might well, we might what's the name? One what's the name? Get on the remix. You yeah, know what for I'm saying? sure. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so December fourth, yeah. to, to to make the proof in the pudding, <laughs> we will do it in person. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Because everybody, you know, it's a little bit of skepticism. So yeah, but, yeah. Because niggas would be like, damn, you know. Shit, I got motherfucking bills. on anybody who know me, though, yeah. who know Rich, Richie Slick from anywhere, man, is know my name good. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, even Mal sure. will tell you, bro. I ain't never, <laughs> I ain't got, I ain't got nothing on my name. Yeah, for sure, for you sure. I mean? But I you could, know how some niggas can feel, though. Like some niggas be thinking, like you know, saying it's, it's so many niggas. Yeah, yeah, Trust it's, me. it's so many niggas that be coming up with some shit, but be like, damn, it's some bull. You know what I'm saying? So, some that's why I had to ask that question because you know what I'm saying a lot of niggas be thinking that shit. Yeah, my mentor, he he been doing that in Atlanta. He been doing that. That's kind of one of the reasons how Young Blue got connected. How he got the yeah, yeah, Young yeah. Blue. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Because he fuck with uh, your mind still, Young Blue. So yeah, yeah. then he fuck with uh, Boosie, right? He fuck with Boosie, yeah, but yeah, 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 my mentor has something to do with that. You know okay. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just on you had that that good old song 
that's gonna motherfucking make that person be like, oh shit, let me go and see what the, you got some more. You, you know feel what I'm me? saying? So Young Blue is like a living example that the main one I can have, but you know they've been doing that in Atlanta for a while, and you yeah. know now I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it to the D now. That's what yeah. I'm trying to tell people. They've been doing it, they've been putting people on, they've been doing it. So it's like mm -hmm. now we got the light and we got the talent, shit. Yeah. For sure. Come on with it. We got we can we need that. We need those yeah. meetings. Now I consider myself an A and R, you know what I'm saying? You know <laughs> they ain't my title, but nigga. I hear shit. When you listen to music, bro, to me I can I can know how a song gonna start like from the beginning. Like like from the first couple of seconds of the song, I'll be all right. I can tell if I'm gonna listen to it or not. Yeah. You the same way, like that's everybody for real. Like yeah. what they say, the first twenty seconds yeah, song or the it's first, important. Like, yeah. B is important. Yeah, the B yeah, B is Trust definitely me. important. Like, yeah. Yeah, it got, it. <laughs> it got it. But to me, sometimes the beat is important. But if a nigga say some shit, like sometimes I can, a nigga be saying some some dope shit that I just ignore the beat. Like like Jeezy, nigga, didn't have the best beats on that first album. Is what he was saying. And niggas he was talking was, though. Yeah. Damn, this nigga talking about some shit. Like you know what I'm saying? But it's all a formula. Everything is a formula with this music, man. Beats and beats and rhymes. Mm -hmm. Um, and after that, it's a whole marketing formula that you need from music yeah. videos to interviews to yeah. shows to there's a whole formula a whole you know what i'm saying it's a yeah. whole mix of things you for gotta sure. put everything you gotta use everything you yeah know what I'm saying? And like we were just saying before you came dog sometimes niggas can say simple shit like this is trash but some niggas can make simple shit sound good facts like you know what i'm saying as an artist like like cameron was was, was my nigga back then he was saying a glide. Like was, a hokey pokey. Yeah. I mean, the stogie stogie. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And niggas be like, damn, this is like, cool. Just because he said it twice, it's sweet. Man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now, stay on the money shit, dog. One thing I don't understand, man, maybe you can uh, uh, tell me, dog. I don't understand when an artist be like, all right, man, I got this one week deal, 500 for a feature, but that nigga ain't really blown up. He ain't going to do shit different for that song than what I can do. So I'll be like, dog, why the fuck is y'all charging so much for a feature? Man, that just be ego. <laughs> yeah. At that point, like you know I try to call saying? niggas out though, but like niggas, like you it's in the same boat as me. It, I seen it going a lot around. You know, I done did business in the ways of certain things like that. So, but people what? just don't. Be, they don't. We from Detroit, man. We hustle, <laughs> Hell yeah. and we all think we somebody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that just be. I just that's my perception of people just be <laughs> prematurely. Uh, uh, putting their price on themselves, yeah. like bro, how am I gonna am I gonna get uh twelve hundred? For sure. What's the names uh yeah. streams back? Yeah, yeah. You feel me? And then cause I saw a nigga they like nigga Halloween special just today, just today. <laughs> 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 like nigga be lying, like nigga, hey y'all better hurry up. Like his feature gonna put you right on the radio. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga still trying to build Boy, up. His nigga. feature gonna get you a hundred thousand views on on YouTube like that. Duh. To me, and that's why I think niggas make mistake. If I'm a if I'm a nigga the uh, artist bro like like dog y'all should start like artists wanna come up y'all should build together bro like Facts. build together bro network together like there we go. why are you charging niggas and your name ain't even out there yet yo 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 Instagram you got four, three four five thousand followers like why am I paying you five hundred dollars that's the Detroit industry man you know we got <laughs> you know we got our own industry no for sure you feel me? so that's the Detroit industry you doing know what I'm saying they putting their own they giving their own self worth you know yeah. what I'm saying even though it may not really be that because like or I'm paying paying you for that. Mm -hmm. Am I getting am I getting that much money back in streams or yeah. some views or something like that? Yeah, you know sure. what I mean? Or yeah, like, even with this with the podcast space, I'm starting to see niggas charge for that. And nigga, I can't, Facts. I can't. Like, I'm seeing I'm seeing niggas charge to get on and to like all right, the podcast niggas charge niggas come on the show. The niggas, the niggas coming on the show charge niggas to to talk to them. <laughs> so nigga, I can't. <laughs> I can't give I'm mad the whole time we're interviewing you because I know I ain't paid you 300 to sit next to me, though. Right, right, right. For real, so, for real. I mean, yeah, like yeah. I said, that's the Detroit industry, man. <laughs> shit, that's just how that shit works, man. But in the A, it ain't really even like... I don't want to even talk about like the A versus the D, but like, yeah. you know, they really into working together, you know for what I'm sure. saying? But I'm... I'm don't worry, man. I feel like our city getting to that point. There's still sure. people who are like that in the city, like yeah. just want to build and work. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially and, my team members. We 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 want to tap in with whoever and build yeah. with whoever. You feel and me? like I said, I'm not trying to put like the the the, the following. How I many followers you got as far as your price? But you just gotta be realistic. That's about what some it things. be. That's what it be yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? They got this amount of followers on Instagram, so they figure they can charge as much. Yeah, you know and that, and that's so. another thing. Like I never looked at following as like a sign of you being dope or not. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a nigga could be. 
dope as hell have a million followers I mean I have a couple followers but you would never know because you ain't gonna fuck with that person just because he ain't got enough followers Facts. and opposed to a lame ass nigga who got a million followers and you really go through that shit for real the shit fake you feel me you know what I'm saying so they bought that page <laughs> hell yeah that Facts. page was bought hell yeah dog hell yeah so man how much time I get a manager dog first as an artist when should you get a manager like like at what point it depends on how the artist feel or what he doing to be like, man. I think I need a manager to help me out with this shit. Yeah, it varies for different people because you know, if you feel like you can hold it yourself down mm -hmm. until you get a point to where you like, all right, I'm making money. I'm getting booked for this. I'm getting booked for that. Mm -hmm. I gotta be here. I gotta be there. I need management. Mm -hmm. But before and then you know that's when you. But before before that, if you just like trying to figure out how to move around, you just seeking counsel. Yeah. Um. Yeah, getting advice, you dig what I'm saying? Somebody would just give you advice and give you counsel. For sure. And until y'all y'all working together at that point, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Y'all may split some pay, y'all may split some costs on things, or you yeah. know, you got to put your own money into yourself too at the same time. You feel yeah, me? for sure, fast. Yeah, yeah. But at that point, it's just like a 50 50 relationship type yeah. stuff. You know, it's, yeah. it's still like you're a manager because you're managing and you got it and, and you're still doing that. Mm -hmm. But it ain't no. In certain cases, don't be paperwork involved. Yeah, for In most sure. cases, don't be paperwork involved. Now, uh, how much time I got? I'm, a, I'm an artist, dog. I'm popping off and shit. I, I sound good. I got a manager. How much time should I get that manager before I cut ties with him? If I feel like he ain't doing nothing. At least two years. Okay, and then see what he gonna do as far as yeah. shows and. If if you at least two years, but mm -hmm. if you if you if you on your road to, on the road to two years and you see something ain't happening like that, you know what I'm saying? Then mm -hmm. you shouldn't be working with that person. But at least. That's what that's like the standard, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's like the standard management two years, you know what I'm saying? Just see what we do. Mm -hmm. And then if I don't get you where you need to be in two years or whatever, then yeah. you know, yeah. we part ways. Yeah, wait, how how would you feel about that if a nigga be like, You ain't doing enough for me, like man. I have to man, break your hole. I have I would have to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? And see like where am I going wrong and what do else yeah. what do I need to do? But at this point, man, <laughs> follow me on Instagram, really yeah. slick, man. Y'all see who I'm tapping in with, man. Yeah, I'm, for sure. Now, I saw you last night when you posting that shit when you was down there. This is what we do. This is what I'm at now. So, it's like, and it's crazy, man, just how life is. I don't want to say kind of like, I skipped the line, but I'm skipping the line. Yeah, You dig sure. what I'm saying? So, Hell yeah, it went past go and shit, dog. You see, I'm with Floss. I done gained Floss as a, as a mentor and a yeah. big homie, you know what I'm saying? What's up, so, Floss, man? I hit you up, man, on, on Instagram. You just seen it, then. <laughs> <laughs> I holler. <laughs> I mean, I laugh sometimes. I mean, damn. So it's so it's like me being in that. I've been saying, like, so what I'm saying. So I'm getting, I'm getting in, in city colleagues and 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 mentors. Yeah. I'm getting out of city colleagues and mentors. I've just been putting myself where I yeah. need to be. Yeah, cause Floss be doing shit. Now he the one who do this shit on Wednesday. Do the panel every Wednesday. It's him and Roy Boy. Yeah. yeah. Now what? Or is he like? Do we got label or he look for something or what? What he doing like as far as that shit that you uh, know about? I don't know if he. I don't know if I honestly can't save. Yeah. I know YBR Promotions. That's their company. He got a deal with three hundred that he got. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so okay, he got yeah, some yeah. industry connects. Like you seen Thursday before I left to Atlanta, I was in the studio with them in Republic Records. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and then yeah. this week, I believe, or next week, we gonna have this is fifty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. 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 Yep. So. So have you ever thought about doing some shit like that yourself, though? Like on the way. So all my networks and all my connections. Yes, I'm going to stay tuned. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I threw a concert in July. Yeah. I'm probably gonna throw another concert, and I'm gonna have some of those representatives in the okay. building. Okay. Or I'm gonna just call it a networking event, and y'all showcase y'all perform, y'all, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, in front sure. of these people, and yeah. hand them your cards, and give them your Instagrams, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, uh, like nigga, you know it's competition, dog. With everything niggas do, dog. I, I look at myself as, you know, I compete with podcasts, nigga. Fuck, it, I watch a podcast and I see what I can do better, nigga. It's just how it is, and, and shit. Like even when we mentioned floss, not now, now just looking at my shit, and keep it moving. <laughs> I feel like that give me more. Like all right, bet I gotta make sure I put my shit. I gotta make sure niggas see my shit, so they be like, damn, that nigga did reach out to me alone. <laughs> I think somebody said that about you too. What? Oh, for real? Somebody see me? I, I, uh, a podcast, just a podcast, uh, homie. That I'm probably gonna go that, his show soon. Yeah. I think it was either you or or the meet the connect people. I think it was you though. You talking about you ain't you ain't want to tap in or you ain't want to get on the show or something. Or I want to get on the show. Or he didn't want to something like that or you didn't respond to something. Oh shit! I was saying no. I was I pretty Hollywood. Nigga. No hell no. I, the, I don't. The AGN show the um. What's dog name? Oh shit! They can't call me out. nigga shit. <laughs> I don't know if he was talking about you or the what's or the meet, other. Yeah, I mean the connect to my uh, uh, my man Uncle Spoody and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I was say, cause if he asked me to come on the show, then shit. Usually, I I, I get down. Nigga. I don't give a fuck. I mean, like, I don't know why he didn't respond. I don't know why. He didn't. <laughs>
<laughs> Dog, this oh, is. Yeah, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna I'm I'm put in my shit and see if we do it. The hip hop new generation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a long story. <laughs> That's a long story, and I didn't even mean to put that out. No, there, no, but, I, but I'm glad you did. But it All goes. Right. You see, it goes around. No, though. I'm glad. I'm glad you said that shit. I'm glad you said that shit, dog. The hip hop. What's the name? All right, this is what happened with me. Whenever, but back to the question. Of, oh yeah, you saying something about like competition yeah, really? or something like that? Then yeah. You said the other no, no, um, damn. What was I trying to say? Oh, competition. Love, yeah, so <laughs> so competition, dog. No, we gonna talk about that off camera, nigga. Yeah, that's a whole long story. But the competition thing, like you know, rappers, podcasts, they compete with each other. So as a manager, do you? Do, is it a competition with, with with other managers, like to no, try to like prove that. yourself? I'm really no, I don't feel like that. Yeah, I've been trying to. I've been networking. Like uh, Floss is one of the first city managers that embraced me. You know okay. what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 for sure. At this point, we just networking. Like my artists, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We. You get a bag, get a bag, you know what I'm saying? Or artists come together and shit like that, yeah. you know, on his platforms. And yeah. I'm had his artists come on my platforms, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't really I, look at it no competition. I'm still a student at the same time, so. Yeah, I think you should connect with my nigga uh, Diddy and shit, dog. Name uh, I Am Deshaun. Them, them niggas, uh, they fuck with, they, 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 he do Diddy? the same shit. Mm -hmm. We call him Diddy, but mm -hmm. his name is I Am Deshaun. Mm -hmm. And he be doing the same shit. Like, he be bringing niggas from other, uh, he brought, what's name up here? Um, From, uh, damn. Yeah, AOA Mafia Fuse from AOA Mafia. Like, he brought uh He be bringing niggas up here, dog. Doing some shit, dog. Uh, Troy Tyler from Milwaukee, a singer and shit. Like, yeah, I done tapped down with some runners too. Juan, Chanel, everybody, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, Hell no, yeah. I ain't in no competition with nobody, man. I'm just trying to just. No, but you know how sometimes niggas be like, you know, it, maybe it's friendly competition or just like to keep you on your toes and shit. You see him, see him doing something like, all right, let me step my game up and shit like that. I'm still studying to even where I can even get on the level with them. Yeah, for sure, you for sure. Me? I'm just trying to even just. Figure out how to get my people where they people are. Yeah. Now, who uh, who you feel like from the city, though, had the biggest impact coming out the gate, dog? Like, for me, I say T Grizzly. Like, when he came out the gate, like, he just came out that bitch in Days Loaf. Out the gate? Like, Days Loaf, like, I ain't going to say she just blew up overnight. Yeah, it really was T, though. Yeah, yeah. T, T, T really put it on for real Detroit rap. Like, yeah. nobody would have heard a real hell of a beat. In a real Detroit sure. cadence and a real Detroit sound before yeah. T Grizzly came with first day out and all of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because uh, Days Low, try me. That was just like a that was just like a dope song. That was I ain't gonna say that was our sound. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That was just a cold song that just popped. And then like everybody nationwide. doing remixes and shit, dog. Yeah, that was just like a nationwide slapping ass song. But as far as some Detroit street beat. Cadence, yeah. rap, look, video, yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. And then, and hell of a said that shit like at that time, nigga, that shit saved his career. Like that song, that first day out, because he said that same type of sound he took down south, they wasn't fucking with it. Mm. They said they wouldn't go past Detroit, and now he doing beats for everybody. Kodak, that's Kodak was one of the My first nigga Larry, ones I was hearing them on. Yeah, Larry uh, June. You feel me? Yachty, like you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So. Just cause a nigga say something, make the stallion. Yeah, like you say, uh, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah. Cardi. Yo, yeah, yeah. But you just got. <laughs> hella, hella going crazy no, right now. And you he just got the panel sometimes too. He type in, in the yeah, panel. Yeah, yeah. You just got had that, like you said, that right person to go on your shit, and, and, and he had T Grizzly. They both was hungry. They both was doing something, and they both blew up off the song. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But that was like real authentic Detroit, though. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. T Grizzly blew up all that shit, dog. What's some uh? What's some shit you want to do outside music, dog? Like outside of management shit. Anything on the uh, uh, brain? Some real estate here and there. You know what I'm saying? I want to own some properties and some some strip malls and buildings. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, real estate, of course. Um, really, man? I don't know. I can't really think of nothing outside of music, man. Everything around it and entertainment, man. That's all I've really always been to. Watching sure. TV. Yeah, yeah. Listening to music. You know what I'm hell saying? Yeah, hell yeah. You ever Watching about, a new dance show and shit like that, you dig what I'm saying? You ever thought about doing something like this, nigga? Like a podcast? Yeah. No, I ain't never thought about doing a podcast. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, okay. Cause like it's shit. A lot it's of really, I ain't gonna lie, man. Being on the camera this much is really out of my element. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. Especially like I said, push the brand, get that shit out here. There we go. What's your uh, what's your definition of successful? Though? Like niggas, says, some niggas say a certain dollar amount or this that putting their family in in, in the position. Like, That's mine right there. Just like. So my family and my people's around me, we ain't got to worry about them everyday struggles. You dig yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. Like, you know, bills is paid. We ain't got that. How we about to pay this? 
if your tire go flat on the freeway, you can get a rental and you, you can get a tire right away with no problem. You ain't got to worry about missing work. Oh, your whole life shut down because of yeah. just one little incident. Hell yeah. That's really successive. If your life, you know, stuff like that. For sure, yeah, yeah. But that can that cause a trickle all... effect. Nigga, what? Yeah, that one thing can fuck up bills being paid, all that shit. So that, that's right, though. Ed. When when that one thing don't break you and shit, then you on to something, dog. So, yeah, that's my definition. Like, once my... My whole family, we just ain't got to worry about everyday struggles like that. Yeah. We're just comfortable. Then that's success for me. Yeah, now you got a son. Your mm -hmm. father, dog. Do, mm -hmm. yeah, do any of this take away? Sometimes you be like, damn, it's taking away from me being with my kid or something like that. Like, sometimes do you feel like you go too hard that you, like, damn, let me go ahead and get back to my father's shit because I'm, I'm, so I'm so deep into this trying to make sure my business to is To be good. honest, I, I do manage that pretty well. You know what okay. I'm saying? I made sure I keep that in mind yeah, that for I sure. don't. So. I, he get him. He get a lot of attention. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So I made sure I keep that straight. But you know, I do. It do. It do get to a point where like, mm -hmm. like the last four days I've been going crazy. So it's yeah, like, yeah. I say it on camera. I forgot to give him a ho a, col uh, um, a Halloween I mean, costume. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So doing, yeah, hell yeah. I couldn't even. I ain't so even had that on the agenda. So you know what I mean? Dog, I be a bum like I used to be. Man, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crazy. <laughs> But hell, 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 yeah. I just try to manage that the best way I can, sure. so I, so he won't experience those type yeah. of feelings, you know. And I don't want to have that that on myself. As oh well, yeah, for sure. Know? Yeah, he grew up that man. You spend no time with me and shit. You know what I'm saying? But he gonna see. He gonna see. I'm doing it in front of him. So yeah, for he, sure. he see what's going it's on. Gonna, hell yeah, it's gonna pay so. off. All oh, that shit gonna pay off, dog. Now you on your DJ Khaled shit, dog. I know you probably you was young, but you probably seen making the band. Yeah. So you on your DJ Khaled Diddy, Diddy shit, dog. You got an album. You about to go ahead and uh, you know what I'm saying put together. But you need five artists, dog, for this one album. Mm. What's, what's, your, what's your making the band album, dog? Who, who that gonna consist of? I'm gonna say Pay. That's a good. One. That's a good first pick. Shit, Pay and Peasy. Yeah. Um. You can do producers, you can do singers, rappers, whoever. So you got pay. five people. Yep. You, yep. So you got Pay Peasy. Pay Peasy. Um. For sure, we gotta do use Helly. Okay, hell yeah, on the sounds. And I like shit. Jose the plug beats too, man. Yeah, he got that. You know, he did block party for Sada Baby. Okay, yep, 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 yep. So I like how his beats be slapping. Um, that's two producers, two rappers. Hell yeah, and that. me. All right, bet. So I can put it together, put the scheme together behind it. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Put that shit together real quick, real smooth, dog. Now towards the end, dog, we do a versus. I call it a versus battle segment, dog. And you pick your winner, man. You know what I'm saying? I give you two people. Who would win it, dog? Vezo versus Sada. <laughs> Sada. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, old school rap, new school rap. Like how old though? Nin uh, 90s, <laughs> 90s, 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 and now versus now. 90s versus now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say now. R. Kelly. Versus Usher. Usher. Okay. Oh, shit. You can't. <laughs> good, good, good answer. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, soul food uh, versus seafood. Soul food. All right. All right. Yeah, seafood starting to come up. But yeah, soul food. You got, you got a lot of shit to pick from and shit. Yeah, soul food. Uh, Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Christmas. All right. Uh, uh, winter versus uh, summer. Man, that's crazy. That's a hard decision for me, but... <laughs> Summertime, yeah, you dig what I'm saying. Summertime. I, mean, I think about winter time. You, that's when you wear your best gear. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just don't like driving in the snow, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's the sure. only thing, bro. When they get all slushy and we just, you name there is sliding, everything <laughs> turn to one lane. Hell yeah, the hell whole yeah. city turn to one lane, man. I just don't like the, the snow driving in the snow. But other than that, I don't really care about dealing with the snow. I used to walk in it. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, for <laughs> sure. Fast, in game, in person game, or DM game. In person game, man. <laughs> Cause the DMs don't even they don't even be looking, so I'm like, man, I'll catch you outside and get yeah. to talking. You feel yeah, me talking sure. crazy? You feel for me? Sure, so, <laughs> and that that's usually what man. That's still where is that in person yeah, game? Man, yeah, I'm still old school with it, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog, hell yeah, man. How, how, uh, have you been your D? Oh, you ain't you in a relationship? No, I'm single. Okay, bad, bad, bad. I ain't want to ask no question. Your girl see this shit. Like, nigga, I know you. Have no, you ever slipped up in in, in, in the DM work? Like, nigga. Yeah. It, okay, it, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Call, call, them, call some bodies. Hell yeah. Catch some bodies. Hell yeah, man. Uh, UFC or uh, boxing? Boxing. All right. No, man. UFC, though. Yeah. They're coming out because the niggas, when he was UFC, got to fight. 
the top niggas. Yeah. Ain't no negotiating that shit, dog. I'm gonna say UFC because once, yeah, I'll, I'll fuck with UFC. Dope boys versus Team Issa as a not individuals as a group. Mm. I'm gonna have to say Dope Boys, man. I grew up off of them. Mm-hmm. You feel me? As a group, but as a as an individual, they, they grew up off that sound. It's just that sound started right there. So you feel me? You just gotta yeah. get credit where it's due. Hell yeah, Jay Z versus Nas. Damn man, I'm gonna have to say Nas. Oh, thank you, dog. Real nigga, dog. Real, Real nigga. Nas, I argue man. these niggas all the time, dog. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to say Nas, man. All right, uh, Drake versus J Cole. Drake, Drake. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. And last one, dog. Master P versus Baby. Master P. Hell yeah, got to yeah. I, I respect Master Baby, but Master P grind just some crazy, yeah, dog. Master P is more solid to me, man. He ain't no weirdo. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? Hell Not yeah. to call Baby a weirdo or nothing <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. but like he just. He just, you know, he pee. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, another thing we do, top three. I'll give you a category. You give me your top three. Top three, celebrity childhood crushes. Because when I say crushes, niggas Man, be like... Man, Christina Milian. Oh, hell yeah. I'm good. Megan Good. Oh, see, you you probably had the best one so far. Um, see how the third one going to look. Childhood. I actually see him in the movies all the time. Really, Maya, bro. Oh, yeah, Maya was dope. Nigga, she's still Maya. bad. Yeah, Maya. She's still bad. Hell yeah, take me yeah. there. I wonder because she had that motherfucker Real Red song, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but Christina Milian, man. Dog, on, um, on what's the name, dog? Little Cross the thing. thing. Man. That's what, man. Yeah, she that was She was in that boy one. playing that guitar in the room. I'm like, man, yo. Yeah, man. <laughs> Cold. Yeah, sorry, wife, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> dog, but make it good. It's just a classic, dog. Yeah, that's like, classic. That's everybody. When she, I remember when what's ain't um not their down, I was going, man, I'm like, damn. Tyrese on um that one movie. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Bad. Yeah, he had a retake. We doing this again. We doing the yeah. scene over. Fuck hell yeah. For real, hell three yeah. takes on that motherfucker. Top top three TV shows. Uh, does it got doesn't it matter if it's like sitcom or like reality. Uh, nope, it don't matter. All right, so I'm gonna say Run's House. Dude, we used to go crazy. We used to run from that nigga game to go watch Run's House. My nigga. wife and kids. Oh yeah, my wife and kids are classic. And the Cosby Show. Cosby Show classic, classic. You ever fuck with uh, Wayne Bros growing up, man? Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Jamie, man, dang, you you said top three, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> no, Jamie Foxx is underrated as hell, dog. Jamie Foxx show, man, what? Man, hell yeah, top three mm -hmm. movies. Top three movies. Yeah. Well, just from the love of football, my number one my whole life been Friday Night Lights. Okay. Um, The Matrix. Okay. Um, the third movie. Uh, it's got to be one of the Will Ferrell joints. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be something with Will Ferrell in there. Any one of them, man, damn near. Old school, yeah. school yeah. Step yeah. Brothers, yeah. Tyler Diggin' Nice, one of them shit. The top three foods. Baked beans. Oh, shit, hell yeah, it's a motherfucking hamburger meat in that motherfucker. Baked beans. <laughs> uh, what I just love. It wouldn't matter if it's like dessert or something. It's really all sweet shit. It's like baked beans, sweet potato pie, <laughs> and. I'm gonna say crab legs too, though. I okay. love some crab legs. Yeah, he's got fight with them bitches and that shit. Yeah, <laughs> but no, man, I learned. It's, you gotta learn the sausage, you you know what I'm yeah, saying? I don't yeah. even fight no more. I just. <laughs> hell yeah. Top fight. three football players Jerome Bettis. All right. Hmm. Tom Brady. Okay. Um, Calvin Johnson. Yeah, Calvin Johnson was cold, uh my, hey, my nigga Vic, man, I used to, that's my favorite football player. Yo, Vic yeah. and Barry Sanders, my two top. Damn, players. man, you made me forget people. I'm thinking quick. Yeah, yeah Barry Sanders for sure. Yeah, I met that. I saw that nigga. That nigga my height, but this nigga still stocky as hell. Dog. You seen him in person before? Yeah, that nigga motherfucker strong as hell. Still, I'm like nigga, like you can still play. <laughs> nigga start laughing. I'm like nigga, she might need you, nigga. <laughs> but we, but we, but we losing. Get our ass beat, nigga. For real, for real, dog. <laughs> right. uh, top three rappers, dog. Ever. Ever. Yo, 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 to, yo, top three. Uh, Jay. All right. Um, Wayne. All right. And Sporty Water. All right. And the last one, dog. Top three singers, dog. Ooh, top three singers. You R&B bad, man. I love female singers too, man. So I'm gonna say, um, mm, Beyonce. Okay. I fuck with Beyonce. Yeah. You say all the time? Mm-hmm. Probably Anita Baker because of my pops. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So I grew up off of that Anita Baker. Hell yeah. And one more. Ugh. 
The last but not last but Shanti not. and it's between the Shanti and somebody else. I like a Shanti thighs. Man, I, like Shanti, I like a Shanti everything. <laughs> everything. Um, who I say? You said uh, Nia Baker, Baker, Beyonce, Beyonce, and Tina Marie. All right, man, that's a good. List. That's, oh, I, I, I'm gonna ask this because it'd be tough, but I'm gonna see if you can answer it. Top three moments in life. Your top three moments in life, name. <sighs> making the first football team when I was a kid, making a cut. Yeah. Um, that talent show I told you about because I think that that did something that sparked like some real music for sure like real music love like being on the stage that was my first time being on the stage performing and everything yeah, yeah. but i really did it like yeah i hope somebody on i hope somebody got that yeah, that video yeah, i know yeah. it's some parents in there i went to school with people so if somebody went to went to uh oakman you know what i'm saying i went to school with fmbdz too i went okay. to elementary school with him so yeah yeah for sure um yeah shit and you got one last one so he said talent show making talent football show. team mm. My first time. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my a top moment. Time. That's a top yeah. moment. It, 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 it how long or how, how straight it was. Yeah, man. How long? My first time. It was just. Yeah, magical and shit. You know? <laughs> that's when you become a man. Yeah, yeah dog. That's when, that's when troubles, niggas, just start coming, dog. That's what I tell my son right now. Like, listen, man. Girls, niggas, gonna always be there, bro. Once you once, once that shit happen. It's gonna, it's gonna be like it's like crack, nigga. It is. You gonna, do, you gonna do anything? You gonna be fresh to get no, for you sure. gonna, Like sweet talk. What up? Come on, just hell yeah, you know hell yeah, dog. Hey, yo, was that your crib or her, her, her your parents' crib or her parents' crib? My crib. All right, all right. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I don't really talk about my shit, dog, because I just don't. But I remember like, like Mount Walton, nigga, on me, nigga. And I'm like, get your ass out of here, nigga. I was in bomb bunk. <laughs> get your ass out of here, nigga. <laughs> I, I think that nigga said he was home. Right? I ain't never got caught having sex, dog. Duh, for real? No. Damn. Never got caught having sex, bro. No, I fu- hold on. The funny shit, dog, because I don't. If my wife watched, she don't ever watch it, but nigga, it was with her. And um, my son, nigga, my youngest son just bust through a door. So, nigga, I just dove, nigga, on it. Because we had like it, it, a gap in between the bed and the wall, and nigga, I dove on the floor. Like, what you doing? I'm like, nigga, I'm high, nigga, go, 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 go count, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, I was, I'm talking hey, that's about, a sauce for you right there. That was quick on your duh, quick on the feet. I was, nigga, I'm talking about, nigga. You talking about I'm high? Go come. I Hurry dove through that door because I didn't know if it was like, I don't know why I thought it would have been my oldest son. He know better, nigga. But I just dove quick as hell, nigga. Like, man, that shit funny as hell, though. Like, like nigga. <laughs> Oh no, but then another time, nigga, that nigga heard his mom like, like, why was you making that noise? And nigga, we just bust out laughing, dog, like, damn. Yeah, that's a point. That was quick on your toes, right? Hell there, yeah, boy. hell yeah. You a good father for that. <laughs> man. Hell yeah, I don't want that nigga yeah. see see his ass naked that motherfucker. Dog. <laughs> don't count to fifty. Hell yeah, nigga. That's go. a whole minute for you to get ready. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. We're in the bathroom real quiet. Right, right. This shit, Your boy coming down. He, you know what I'm saying? Hell a yeah. Bit. <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure. Hell no, dog. Last time we always hear everything, dog. With a drunk, I forgot to ask you off camera, dog. But a drunk moment or a high moment, dog. Funny story when you were drunk, high, or both. Man, I really was both, but it was when I started first drinking the Neho. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I damn near was so drunk, and I was trying to get high. <laughs> you know how you got high. the. Um, <laughs> You know, you pull the wood out the pack. Yeah. I was holding on to it, like yeah. telling my man, like, damn, what happened to that weed? We got. He was like, he was, I was waiting on him to give me the weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm holding the wood, right? Yeah. So then I got to a point where I started holding it, like it was like done. Like you know how you hold it, now you holding the wood. Yeah. Man, I done waited so long. I'm so drunk, man. I swear to God, I thought it was, I'd have had rolled. I looked at him like, oh yeah, we right here with a lighter. Right? <laughs> I done got to smoking. Yeah. Uh, on like a regular damn. <laughs> A regular wood, bro, killing myself, like, Duh. bro, like, Duh. they, I didn't believe until they told me the next day, but yeah. Oh, so you was just smoking that motherfucker, though. Yeah, like, I'm like, bro, I'm like, it's weed in here, I wrote, they like, bro, you blow, I, I didn't, it was on video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, I wouldn't believe it if they wouldn't show me the video. Bro. Duh, I think it's, I never had that. I was drunk as hell trying to get high, so I was super drunk at that point. Damn, you know? like, you was just drinking all day, or like, nigga, like, is it easy for you to get drunk, though, or you want them, like. No, nah, it was just. I was just going hard that day. We were just, yeah. we had, yeah, that yeah. Neho was different, man. I was just, you know. Celebration what I'm or something, nigga? Yeah. Because we celebrate, yeah. nigga. Like. I mean, it was, yeah, we was getting money, so oh, I don't yeah. know if you yeah. feel oh, me. Oh, yeah, celebration shit. We done went through three fifths of that in a day. Oh, shit, yeah, you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We was like three fifths that day, so we was. Man, that's fucked up. Hell yeah, you fucked up for real. 
Shit, man, I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, dog. Appreciate you for having me, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Tell people where they can find you at, where they can, you know what I'm saying, get in contact with you on, and all that good Facebook, shit. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I am Richie Slick. Same thing everywhere. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to see this everywhere. See that DST everywhere. Everywhere you see this, you're going to see me. Okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, my man just came from Atlanta. Digital Supreme Team, CEO. Hey, yeah. Hustler, man, hustler, man. You got some Fresh shit. off the road, man. I just took a 45 minute oh, nap yeah. before this, dog. And you so. say you got that one shit that's coming up on uh, December 4th? So, December 4th, yeah. Um, in person, FaceTime. So, my my mentor, we got the contact list. Mm -hmm. um, we I'm about to put the flyer out. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, anybody who's interested in going to inquire, inquire in my DM. Mm -hmm. But December 4th, we will be here at a discreet location. Um, and you going to be at a table like it's going to be very intimate. It mm -hmm. ain't a, you know, it's not going to be a room full of people. It's just going to be yeah. me, you, him, and a FaceTime. Yeah. Listen to music. Okay. Talking about your music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's, if it's, it is what it is, you feel me? If you really believe in yourself, if it is what mm -hmm. it is, who knows where this can For go, sure. but it's going to be an intimate meeting. We only got a couple slots we, we, um, offering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, hit me up and, and inquire about it. For December sure. 4th, my mentor, Carlos Brown, and... You know, we will be here putting y'all on the phone with these labels and these managers and these representatives. For sure. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, real quick, dog, before we go, dog, you got your own management team, but have you ever thought about getting your own little label? Um, yeah, we basically no building into that. You know what I'm saying? That's when you get to invest in ours, but yeah, yeah we basically get into that. You know For sure, man. I'm about, to, I'm about to talk to you in the near future, man. I've been thinking about, you know what I'm saying, being a little manager and shit in this motherfucker, dog. Yeah, man. See, give me some tips or something. If I can dog. get a manager, if I can get a team of managers who really want to do this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. Like I said, man, I appreciate you coming on. You got any last words you want to give the people, man? Any motivational words, anything? Stay positive with anything you do and and anything. Stay positive. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm going to leave people off with, dog. If I send you a message and you look at my shit and then don't reply, it's all good. I understand. I got work to do. If I do it to you, shit, I don't Floss, know. man, holler at him. Man. <laughs> If I do a same nigga, I ain't Hollywood, just, you know, something about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> episode 93, man. Shivers, everybody, man. Richie Slick. Out.